Hello everyone and welcome back to Nate the Hoof Guy. On today's video, we are gonna recap a couple of past trims and then we're gonna follow up on these girls to see how they've healed. First in the shoot is cow 334. She had a pretty significant lesion on her right front foot. As with all lesions of this sort, we had to trim away all the loose horn from around that lesion to get it to heal, clean it up really well, and we wrapped it with salicylic acid to kill the bacteria that had colonized on that lesion. We wrapped it up and we let her go. Then, about a month later, 27 days later, we brought her back into the chute to see how it looked. She's shown great improvement after 27 days, but she's not there yet. So we go through the same process again in hopes we can get this completely healed. And now we're back after 34 additional days. As we were walking her in the chute, her block popped off. So hopefully, after we've gotten this all cleaned up, she won't need another one. As we zoom in here, you can get a good shot of where that lesion was and how it's healed up. Now, yes, there is still some hemorrhaging there, and one might ask, now, why don't you have to dig that out and investigate that further? And the reason I don't do that is because knowing that this, uh, where this lesion is and, and in its progression that it's actually getting better, it's likely not a problem. Also, if you look real close, you can see that there's good horn up underneath that on the back side of that, and that tells me that that hemorrhaging is uh, simply just from healing up that, that uh, original lesion. So she's good to go. We can put her down and let her go. Let's do a quick flashback to two months ago and then back to today. I get a lot of requests for head scratches, but as you can see, not all cows appreciate that. She's saying, nope, all done. Now let's move on to our second trim of the day, cow 6561. Now when we first saw her, it looked like she might have a lesion or two in this foot. But as we went to work, we uncovered far, far more than that. After the cleanup was complete on this foot, we ended up finding multiple lesions, all with little pockets of dermatitis growing on them. A salicylic acid wrap should be all it takes to get these to clear up, but it's going to take a couple weeks to find out. And that's where we move ahead now.
Now you may notice the scenery has changed for this next trim and that's because she has moved to the dry cow barn. That's the area where they go and rest before they have their next calf. So that's where we pick it up now after three weeks of time. It appears as if all these little lesions have healed, but let's do a little trimming and see if we were successful. For those of you that watch and wonder why I don't take down that heel a little bit further to give more relief on that injured claw, this is a perfect example of why I don't do that. Now that we're getting the take a look at these lesions, we can see they've healed. And because I haven't lowered that heel, it's now going to be balanced when I remove that block off. If I were to have taken that way down to take more pressure off of that, then guess what would have happened? Even though I'm going to be able to remove this block now, that heel would be so much lower than that lateral claw that we wouldn't have balance at that point. So in this, doing it this way, I'm able to provide the relief with the block, keep that heel height really nice and thick. That way, what now that these lesions are healed, when I do pop it off, she's perfectly balanced. Of course, there's gonna be a low spot where these lesions were, but that's okay because I've got good heel height and I've got good sole thickness at the toe. And even though we've got a low spot in the middle, we're gonna have good balance with that claw. As you can see here, those lesions have healed. So we're in a good place now and we can pop this block off. So the way I remove blocks is I've got a stiff piece of thin steel I can slide up back behind that and I kind of pry and pop it slowly, slide it in, pop it all the way off. Now if this block was really, really stuck on there tight, then I would just take the grinder and, and buzz that block off that way. But most of the time I can work it off gently uh, using this, uh, this method here. If you have not seen either of these original trims, I will put that link in the description below and you can go back and take a look at those. All right guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. I'm gonna leave you all with a little more of Jake trying to pull the mud flap off of my trailer. Thanks for watching guys. We will see you all on the next one. I caught you. I caught you. I thought you were getting away with it. Yeah, I busted you.